imagine if Kate had been your daughter, Jamil or Drew, your son. Dan Rosenberg lost his son six years ago when Roberto Gallo, an undocumented immigrant, hit and killed Drew on his way home from law school in San Francisco. Instead of stopping, he accelerated, drove over his body. Um, my son's helmet had come off and wedged under one of Gallo's tires, so he backed up, driving over him a second time. Rosenberg and his new political ad argue that horrible demise could have been avoided. All three killed by people who entered our country illegally. People shielded from federal immigration law by California's sanctuary cities. Before Drew was killed, Gallo was stopped by SFPD for driving without a license or insurance and going the wrong way down a one-way street. Gallo was cited and let go. A few months later, he killed Drew. The, the grief part of it is always there. That never goes away. Um, but when I have to really think about it and, and watch what's happening, um, particularly in California, um, it gets you very angry. District Attorney George Gascon was too busy to go on camera today, but his office says sanctuary city policy or not, those crimes wouldn't have warranted an ICE call. That fact hasn't deterred Rosenberg in his battle, though. So, with the help of the Californians for population stabilization, he's harnessed that anger and made this ad. California should be a sanctuary for Californians. It urges the governor not to sign a bill, making California a sanctuary state, and asking President Trump to follow through on his threat to defund sanctuary cities. And you think cutting federal funds is the way to make change? Well, I think it's the way to uh, wake the populace up. It's a move that would potentially cost the city millions of dollars of federal funding and one the city has launched a lawsuit to fight. The ad went on air this week across California and will run for several weeks. On your side, you talk about the pain and the heartbreak that this has caused your family. What about the pain and the heartbreak that deportation causes families here? It's a false equivalency. My son was doing nothing wrong. My family was doing nothing wrong. They can go back. I can't bring my son back.